Hello and welcome to this video on how to commission the Texcom Premier Elite wireless system. For this video you will need your wireless keypad, the engineer's jump lead, and to ensure that this peg is in the commissioning state. I here have my battery ready to go, just the red terminal disconnected and I'm wired into the mains ready. For the purpose of the video, I'll be using a plug, whereas your system should be wired into a fuse spur. First thing we need to do is take the engineer's lead and with the red wire to the left, find and locate the engineer's keypad port and plug it in. And on the back of the keypad, you'll see the other engineer's port, this time with the red lead at the top. Plug it in. And that's ready to go. For starting, we need to locate the low default switch, which is here. And we need to press and hold this whilst applying power to the system. As you can see, if we look at the keypad while it powers up, see it starts low default and starts a countdown timer. At this point, you can reattach the back terminal. Finishes loading and goes into an alarm state. All we need to do is type in the engineer's default code 1234. Type this a second time and that'll begin the initiation. Ask you if you wish to set language, press tick. See if you want English. If you do not want English, press X. But in this case, we do, so press tick. Ask me if I want to default wireless. In this case, I do. And then asks if you want to use confirm devices. Press tick and you'll see expander one is showing here. If expander one is not showing, ensure that this commissioning peg is definitely in the right port or you will not be able to add wireless devices. Press yes and tick again to confirm the device. Then asks you if you want to enable ricochet learning. Press tick and it goes on to the first device. Locate your first device. In this case, it's the door contact. You need to remove the back cover for commissioning mode. And press tick. And you'll see it begins a countdown. Press and hold the button. Once you release it, it'll turn green. And you'll notice it's gone to zone 10, which is for the next device. Take your next device. Press, which is a passive infrared sensor in this case. Press tick and remove the power tag to start her up. Here we go, it's let this and uh, moved on to device number 11. Next thing, once you've learned all your devices, is to in it, learn the keypad, which is done by simply learn, ticking to learn device, and removing the engineer's lead. Within the time frame, press tick on the keypad and it'll learn itself to the system. At this point, we need to uh, confirm device for the keypad. This is done by entering the engineer's code once again. And it should come up with confirm devices. Press tick. This time you'll see you've got the keypad and the expander. Tick again. And again, and she's ready to go. Please watch my next video on how to program zones.